Have you ever wondered if you can edit an astro image in three minutes or under? You won't wait to find out. Hey everybody, this is Matt from EverydayAstro.com and today we're going to look at whether we can actually take one of our images and edit it within three minutes and make it good enough to share online with our family and friends. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and see what we can do. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Uh, this is the unedited image of the California Nebula and you are only going to need to know four things to make this photo look amazing or good enough to share with your friends and family and amaze them at least. So you're going to need to know curves, levels, colour balance and camera raw filter. Three of them are in one location. So you go to image adjustment, you have levels, curves and colour balance. The last one is under filter and that's camera raw filter. So I'm going to aim to edit this in somewhere between three and five minutes. It's going to take a little bit longer as I try and explain what I'm doing as I go through it but it will be relatively quick. One other thing worth noting is that in curves, I do use something called ArcSign curves. These are not standard within Photoshop, but they are free. So you can go and get those. I will put a link in the description below so that you know where to, you can go and get those and install them on your Photoshop. So let's crack on, let's give this a go. So three minutes and let's see how far we get. So the first thing to do, Image adjustments, curves, and I do a big arc sign thousand curve. You see, it's a very green looking image. You can also see up here on the right of the histogram that the colors are pretty badly split. We need to make that look a lot better. So we'll use our color balance option and we will bring the color balance in. And all I'm gonna do is watch the histogram as I pull the colors back and what I'm actually aiming to do is just line all three up on top of each other pretty much like that. Okay. So we've now got uh, a much more balanced color in the image. So still can't really see a lot. Let's go back into curves and do another one to reduce the arc sign 300. Okay uh, push the histogram all the way over to the right we can see I can also see my colors haven't quite gone right so let's now pull that black point back. So we'll go into levels and we'll bring the levels and you can see here, just bring this slider on the left all the way over. And there we go. We can start to see that nebula really coming through now. Let's just do a little bit more of a color balance. So I can just bring this back slightly. That looks a little bit better to me before. Let's do another arc sign curve. Let's stick at 300. What does that do? Yeah, yeah we can cope with that. So then back into levels and we can bring the levels down. Uh, don't worry about this bump here. This bump here is from what you can see of the stacking artifacts uh, around the edges of it. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not losing any real data. So I can pull that in and we've got a pretty nice image coming through already. So this on curves, I am just going to do this by hand this time. So I can just make an assessment of where I want to pull the curves to. That looks okay to me. So let's just go levels one more time. I can bring that in slightly. So there we go. Okay, yeah, I think that's brought most of the nebula out. So let's do a filter, camera raw filter. So this will load up a new window that looks exactly like that. Lots of options down the left hand side. The only ones I'm going to use I am going to do a bit of sharpening. There, looks about right. Let's do some noise reduction. I would really like to kind of zoom in for this and have a look at what's going on as I'm... There, there we go. So I would say somewhere around there would be as far as I want to go. And then maybe some colour. Let's just put a bit of colour noise in there anyway. Uh, coming back out, could look with vibrance and saturation here. So just pop up the vibrance a bit, pop up the saturation, and that'll do me. So I'm gonna look at that image, and one more, I'm gonna do one more curves adjustment, and I'm just ever so slightly going to bring that up, and I should be able to bring that back with some levels adjustments. Yeah, we've got space there, look. Okay, so that looks to me like one pretty completed image. I will use crop 
just to get rid of those stacking artifacts on the side. So there you go, there's a fifth one we've managed to use. And there we have it. That is a final image. So this is how you can take it from nothing to perfectly shareable with your friends and family in three minutes. So in total, that took three minutes, 25 seconds. And considering I was having to explain what I was doing as I'm going, I'm pretty happy with that, if I'm honest with you. Again, it is not a perfect image. Don't expect it to be perfect. You've put very little effort to get something out of it. But for those like me who just at the end of a night's imaging just have to see what kind of image you've managed to capture, this is a great way to actually just be able to have a very, very quick look. And you can go to bed as an excited little chipmunk then knowing that when you get to edit it the next day, you're going to have some really good quality data in there. It really does help me sleep a whole lot better. But you see, if there's any tips you've got, if there's anything you think you can do faster, perhaps there's an additional step that you think would really help bring things out. You know, maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, do enjoy your editing, enjoy your imaging, and I'll see you again next time.